Assalamualaikum Islam. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, I'm fine too. Uh, in our previous class of e-commerce application, I have assigned a short question um, to you people and you needed to explain the issues of e-commerce applications, right? Yes, uh, basically I was working on the second one. So, it was a simple question. Yes, it was. Start, let's start the session. So, this is our today's uh, session. In this session, we will um, discuss the some new things in e-commerce applications. In the previous class, we have discussed the basics of e-commerce applications, its role in our environments, the benefits and the major components of e-commerce applications like how we use them and what are the things that are beneficial for our businesses if we are using these kind of applications so today we will discuss or understand why small businesses use e-commerce like uh, if we say that uh, for the sake of uh, example small businesses are a kind of businesses that are owned by a single person or you can say that a person who is uh, selling his goods or uh, some uh, services on his own single shop or uh, in his office you can say uh, a small office then we can consider it as a small business. Uh, we will examine the opportunities and benefits of e-commerce that are offered to a small businesses, like how these small businesses can get the opportunities uh, for the betterment of their businesses. And we will also analyze the threats that a small business has to consider when adopting e-commerce and definitely we will come up with the solutions to each and every threat that we will discuss in our class. So uh, let's move forward to the opportunities that we can get from the e-commerce uh, uh, and these are only for the small businesses. So um, each and everything is solely based on the services or opportunities or benefits that are provided to small businesses we are not talking here for the big organizations or the large organizations or the high communities we are talking for a uh, very small businesses so the opportunities that we get are uh, we get a tap a wider range of customers if you use e-commerce for your small businesses like you can say that you have a vendor shop and you are selling some uh, goods on that shop so you can say if you are promoting your goods or the things or like you are selling on the e-commerce applications or a website if you are using a website if you are using an application that is helpful for people they can get the goods or services from that application as well so it will definitely uh be a very good thing for your customers range it will definitely wider your range of customers so then you can get access to bigger marketplaces you can expand to global sales it will help you widen your geographic reach and uh, definitely it helps to be competitive so let's discuss these points one by one uh if we are talking about the wider range of customers, the e-commerce platform basically give you the better access to a wider variety of consumers. Definitely, when you are selling something uh, in a market, the people who, who really live close to that market will approach you for the goods that you are selling. But if you are selling the same thing on the internet, like e-commerce applications, it will definitely help millions of people to see your products. Definitely, you need to sell the product uh, more carefully and more attentively so that the uh, multiple or you can say the wider variety of consumers can see your uh, product and can get ideas of how they can get your product. People who have been probably restricted to visit your store may now explore your website or eShop. Definitely, it will really be helpful to people. Uh, sometimes there are people who visit your shop once and they really like your products. They want your product, but they cannot visit you again and again. So uh, some of the vendors do give them the facility to only uh, like confirm their orders through phone calls and they send the goods and services to their home. Uh, households so they can easily uh, get the products by staying at their home and 
use the opportunities even if they wouldn't purchase they could remember uh, recommend it to others whom you offering are more relevant definitely if i see something like um, uh, my some some of my friends are uh, talking to me about buying a new car and i see a new car that is really uh relevant to their needs and their requirements so i can recommend them and they can easily see the product and or you can say the car uh, by the application or by the e-commerce website and they can purchase it if they want to so it is helpful for people to recommend others the same things that they require or they need next we can have access to a bigger marketplace e-commerce platforms can get you a chance to sell in collaboration with giant global e-retailers uh, it's a very good point when we talk about amazon ebay and other websites that are working in the same way these websites or uh, the e-commerce websites basically helps the small businesses how they help them there are some manufacturers who are um, creating their products at a very low level because of the low uh, rate of uh, selling the products so you can say that if you are a retailer these uh, e-commerce websites or applications can be really helpful for you to expand your business how you can expand definitely when you sell your product when you uh, share the product outline or description definitely people can get ideas of your products and they can get uh, there are more chances of uh, the people to uh, become uh, become your customers or you, you can say that your permanent customers if they like the quality of your product and they like the services that you are providing and the overall quality of the product is also needed to be good so this can fast track your path to sales definitely it will help you to increase the sales while offering the opportunity to get access to millions of registered users definitely if you are talking about amazon or ebay there are uh, users who are registered to the the application so definitely it helps to the people who can get the clients from them and if the services and the qualities are good they will definitely become your long term customers as well one can also sell into other in other bigger markets within their region and out of their region definitely uh, when we are talking about the electronic media electronic working then there is no boundaries there is no region where you are selling the product you can uh, buy or sell the product from anywhere to anywhere so it is really helpful for people to buy the things so uh, you need to share your experiences if you have any kind of experience of uh, online shopping or um, amazon or ebay ma'am i i have used the raz when i was in pakistan i haven't used amazon and ebay okay so how was your experience with the raz uh I don't. I I feel like Daraz isn't uh as big as Amazon and eBay are in terms of companies. Definitely, definitely, it's so, not that. Big. eBay are more satisfying in terms of customer satisfaction. They're easy to use. Uh, while Daraz could have some possible scammers. There are some scammers at Amazon as well. But what are the things Amazon is a, uh, still you can say is the most uh, professional application. There are uh, if there are scammers, there are the um, uh, like the people who are really concerned about them and they are finding them out and they are just throwing it from the boundaries of the Amazon. But if we talk about the Daraz, definitely there are the products that are good or bad in the same place okay so you just need to have good research on while you are searching for the thing if you are buying from a good vendor who has good uh like you can say uh sales and definitely good reviews then you can buy them buy from them although there is still no competition between amazon and daraz because of their uh, high competency and definitely the professionalism that is really lacking in daraz i must say so it's good Anyone else who can share experience of any kind of uh, e-commerce applications? Yes, even the marketplace provided by the Raz is limited. Yes, it is. It is really limited. Good. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. As far as I know, like uh, most of the e-commerce, the giant of e-commerce websites, they all have e-commerce applications. Like uh, besides from Amazon, eBay, there is others also. 
definitely um i am asking for your experience like if you have any experience with these applications Yes, uh, I have experience with there is one uh, one application in Saudi Arabia is called uh, Noon. So I uh, many times I used it to buy things to return things. okay good so you like their services Yes, ma'am. If I like, I can say I like it. If I don't like, then I can give bad review. Then they will they will uh, solve the problem like this. It is. that's good that's really good yes umar do you have any experience yes ma'am i use the same app that one the noon okay so it's uh, similar like to amazon okay so how was your experience with the services or you can say the customer services they were good the like i got good uh, the products are good everything is fine so that's it like okay so if you get a chance to uh, this is for all of you if you get a chance to work with any kind of uh, e-commerce application like uh, Uh, for your services to sell on how you can say that you will manage the staff like do you think that you will be able to create any application or uh, you will run your business through any e-commerce application ma'am i didn't understand the question if you get a chance to just start a business like a very small business do you think that you will use e-commerce applications to expand your business or you will just go with the marketplace and uh, simply working in the previous ways ma'am i will use e-commerce applications as uh, most major majority of people find it convenient to order it through their phone online definitely and definitely good yes mohammad what's your perspective here yes ma'am uh, can you repeat the question Okay, I am repeating it for the third time. If you get a chance to start a small business, do you think that you will use any e-commerce application to expand your business? Yes, of course, because uh, for a small business there is a market. It 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 will be tough. There will be competitive. But if it's a new business, then it will be very profitable. Like I can scale the business very overnight or in in a month or like this. Yeah, really good, but. um definitely but not in a month or um, overnight because uh, new things do need hard work and the most of the times the really hard practices to be performed so if we are talking about e-commerce applications there is still nothing like a big magic that will help you to get the things done overnight although Uh, there are some products that are uh, really uh, good in the in generating sales so you can say that it happens but not always let's move forward yes ma'am uh, i was talking about like that yes yes please no i was actually talking about like let's say software applications or apps if you once upload it it can go viral like it it, it takes time but it can happen you know yes it can happen definitely good one next we can expand to global sales so having an e-commerce platform allows potential customers from all over the world to access your product and purchases definitely so there is no boundary whenever you are working on e-commerce platforms it will help you to get the clients from all over the world uh this also serves as the key to increasing your revenues and global market presence definitely you can create your own um, uh, identity in the global market global expansion through e-commerce platforms also provide you the opportunity to explore new facets of your business like what will be added to your business it will be shown to you or all the people who are concerned with your business it will definitely be raised by the e-commerce platforms so for the sake of example if your expertise is service based if we are talking about anything that you perform as like uh, here we have example of hair stylist uh, if you are a hair stylist you will be performing the services then how you can create your global uh, identity by making the global sales definitely 
uh, you can move uh, if you can get the orders online definitely you can move from one place to another but it is still um, limited to the regions but how you can uh, exp uh, get your uh, uh, like the you can say that if you want to really if you are really concerned about the e-commerce platforms then how you can change this work you can create your products that will be selling for you like uh, you can probably introduce a range of specialty offering and accessories such as electronic hair styling tools or any kind of hair products like you can spray the hair sprays or any kind of thing that you are using in your my uh, in your working so you can share it with your with the examples of your work uh, services that you are uh, uh, providing the people so it will be helpful for you to sell the products in e-commerce application so you can say it is also a uh, a uh, good initiative for the businesses that are service based and you can say they are limited to the ranges it will be helpful to make your global identity uh, then it will complement their needs of purchase and they can and add up to to your business definitely it will increase your sales you will get the more revenue and definitely you will be working hard for the people so uh moving next to the uh competition if we are working in an e-commerce platform or even we are making in our local markets definitely competition do exist we need to make sure that we are working really hard with the competition and we need to stay competitive with the others in order to get the higher sales and definitely in order to get the um, high level of satisfaction from your customers as well the online shopping trend is growing aggressively definitely everyone wants to get the things at home no one wants to rush them rush to the markets to get the products they, that they can easily get by staying at home with the cha changing demographics across the globe definitely it is changing the overall demographics of the shopping trends so e-commerce especially mobile e-commerce is growing at the rate of 300 percent which is more much more than the previous one or you can say that if we are talking about web web uh, web based e-commerce it is uh, less likely for people than the mobile e-commerce because mobiles are always in our hands and we really like to get the things done at uh, single clicks so this offers an excellent opportunity to businesses having a strong online presence to unveil their new potential and profits by tapping new customer consumer markets so you will get the opportunity to have a strong online presence definitely when you are selling the products online you can get the online presence if you are working properly on them if you are providing good services to the people people are not uh, getting demolished by the services or by the uh, way of talking of the customer care agents so all the things work very, really hard for the benefits or for the productivity of the overall business next we are having some of the uh, benefits that are offered by the e-commerce applica based applications to the small businesses whenever we talk about small businesses the benefits of e-commerce are different than the larger ones so uh, one by one you all need to address or you can say share your thoughts on these benefits you can try anyone that you really like to Ma'am, yes, ma uh, ma uh, through e-commerce we can uh, target a larger group of people in multiple countries, uh, which could also help us to scale our business in terms of expansion. And it would make it easier if we plan on uh, opening as in starting up in more countries because our product will be known internationally. Mm -hmm. I explained the third point. Okay, good. Okay, ma'am. Uh, I would like to explain the sixth point, affordable employees. Okay. Since it's uh, completely online, we don't need to pay for the transportation of the employees or for the health insurance or like this. These things are not like not needed, security, these things. So they will just sit in their house and they can work uh, like they're they are working in an office. So it is, the cost is uh, very less. Definitely. And you can hire, yes, you can hire very experienced employ employees. Very good. Yes, Mujahid? Uh, yes, Ms. Well, internationally. Uh, global marketplace is uh, reachable from these uh, e-commerce websites. Okay. It's, uh, through the online business, we can gain, we can get more customers 
then the UGL and like there will be no uh, jam or something. So, so the benefit of e-commerce. Okay, good. Okay, so let's continue with the point low financial cost. So, uh, definitely one of the most uh, important or you can say countable benefit of e-commerce businesses is that you really need a lower startup cost there is no need of a very large amount of capital to start the e-commerce based businesses uh, physical retail stores have to pay up to thousands of dollars to rent one of their stores definitely if you don't own any kind of uh, uh, location or a building then you need to set up the office in a um, in any reputed area where you can get the clients definitely so you need to pay uh, very large amounts to people then physical stores also have several upfront costs such as store signs store design buying inventory sales equipment and much more things and we also need to get the multiple things that will uh, really uh, that are just needed to grab the clients like you need to have if you are running a children's store then you need to have some really good character uh, characters in uh, in front of your outlet so that the children can um, get interacted with your uh, product and they just force their parents to go to your store and uh, buy some things so all these things needed to be done at the physical stores and the store owners also has to hire staff to work and run each location definitely if you are running your outlet uh, store in multiple areas then each outlet needs the special team to work on and uh, there is no uh, nothing like that you can say if one person is not working then it is okay to uh, just uh, for uh, another person to work on its place definitely we need to hire staff that will be working uh, uh, on in place of others if there is someone who is not properly working you may also need only need to hire employees for e-store when you grow to a certain level definitely if uh, the business is small you don't need other people to work with you if your store has expanded and the business is really large from uh, from your uh, previous days then uh, you will need to hire some employees for your e-store as well but definitely it, it will not cost you uh, the same way that uh, it was costing at the physical stores. As your online store is online, these employees can work remotely. And as Muhammad has said that for the remote employees, we don't need to give any, uh, any kind of services like the um, health insurance and uh, transportation and all other exp expenses are exactly uh, zero. There is no nothing that we need to uh, pay them off. The only thing that we pay them is their salary, that is the net salary, making it easier to find staff that will suit your company. And uh, it it helps the people to get the most efficient person because when, uh, when we uh, create a job post or you can say that we run any kind of ad, it helps the multiple talents to uh, just... Uh, reach you and they just can easily can apply to your job you will get multiple people the job pool is really good uh, because uh, multiple people from multiple places are uh, simply applying here and you can get the one that is really suitable for your company in dropship online you wouldn't need to buy bulk inventory saving you a lot of money definitely um, in uh, this case of dropshipping you have some time to manage the product if uh, customers are placing their order you can have the enough time to get your inventory if there is less amount of money if you have money you can easily create the inventory for a specific range of products branding is also cheaper with e-commerce you can say that online in online world we don't need to create the billboards and the very large advertisements you just need to create a ad campaign and you just need to run it and everything is done with the ads and uh, definitely it helps to grow your business then you can get the potential income definitely it is also the very good uh, benefit of e-commerce applications with facebook ads you can attract someone at 11 pm or 4 am definitely it could be any time any part of the world people do attracted by your product and they can create your order 
most physical location stores are operational between 9 am to 9 pm definitely multiple at some places there are some res restrictions for the stores to work on uh, and in other places people do not uh, move to uh, move out uh, after uh, certain times like at night they don't uh, like to go uh, go out and uh, shop for things if it is late or you can say after 9 pm so uh, but in online stores they don't even think of it if it is uh, 4 am in uh, or you can say that any time whenever they like to create an order they will do it by being available at all hours you can attract people who would normally pick up a product in store if the outlet were open so uh, definitely uh, people do uh, get things if they really need they really need uh, the product but unfortunately the stores are not opening or you can say that it's a holiday like um, uh, a public holiday then definitely they cannot get the product there are some e-commerce applications like if you are talking about the grocery stores uh, near you they provide the goods within hours so you can get the things at home within no time so uh, you will definitely don't need to hustle for the product and everything will be available on time an e-commerce store allows you to attract those who may have art work schedules or who don't have time to shop in person. So if someone is really busy in his life, definitely they will not get the work uh, uh, time to go to the market and shop for the things that are needed. So they will just scroll from their mobile phones and they will order the products. And there is one more benefit of opening an online store over a brick and mortar shop. You will never need to hire a security guard. Definitely, it is also a, a point that can that we can say that helps us to understand the cost effectiveness effectiveness of the e-commerce applications. So, is it clear to you, people? Yes. This is clear. Okay, so uh, basically these topics are really detailed. If there is anything that is not clear, you can ask from anywhere. You can just uh, stop me and you can ask your questions. Uh, Miss, yes, me. yes, yes. I have a question regarding uh, financial cost. Is it okay. in including all the taxes, etc., like the GST tax? Uh, basically, these are really uh, the need of the time. So you can say... Uh, if we are talking about the proper uh, uh, markets like the Amazon or other uh, e-commerce applications, definitely there are some rules for the taxes as well. In physical stores, we also need to pay the taxes, right? Yes, sir. So is it clear or something else? No, it's clear. Okay. So uh, you can sell internationally. A new brand can easily sell to customers worldwide. Definitely, uh, if you are new, you cannot think of selling the products worldwide if you are working physically. But in e-commerce store, you can think of it. You can discover your audience, whether they are in UK, South America or neighboring countries. They could be from anywhere. Uh, this allows you to price and ship your product competitively to a worldwide audience. So uh, everything that you do, if your products are uh, really at the good prices, then uh, you and the shipping cost is also um, as per the standards. So you will get the most of the audience from worldwide. So selling worldwide is a great feat as it helps you to build your brand a lot faster it will uh, as i think uh, one of you has already added it it helps the brands to uh, grow very fast although it still needs a lot of um, attention and hard work but still it works faster than the physical stores it broadens your marketplace exponentially uh, and allows you to see profit long before your local competitors you will get the higher benefits and uh, if someone is working uh, at the same level of yours but he is only working on the markets then your business will definitely be more profitable than their other rooms it will help you to easily showcase the best sellers. E-commerce benef benefits like displaying the best sellers make it easier to show off products to your customers. You will definitely be uh, explaining or uh, displaying the products 
uh, very well uh, people usually people do hire the content writers for writing the product descriptions for their online stores why they do this they can do it at their own but they try to give a product description that will look more professional and it will definitely be grabbing the attention of people so uh, we do need to uh, work on the products uh, amazon sellers usually i have worked with the multiple sellers uh, who are working on amazon and they are selling their products i uh, i have worked as a content creator so i wrote multiple product descriptions for the people and people uh, actually they can write at their own but they want the products to be uh, more innovative and unique for the people to get their attentions so it is really needed for us to showcase our products in a better way while you can design a brick and mortar store to sway people to buy certain products compared to going through different easels and shelves it's easier for a customer to find the best seller in an online store it definitely uh, displays the best selling things at the top of the website or you can say the application then it helps the people to get the product more easily either to move from one page to another or from one shelf to another shelf they can easily get the best selling things at the top of the application the reason why you want customers to buy your best seller is that they are proved they have proven like these products that are in the best sellers are the ones that are creating good revenue for your organization or you can say for your business so you need to work harder on them so that they cannot stop the overall working and their uh, sale ranges may fall down if they are not properly worked on other customers have already bought them and are happy with their purchase so it helps the new people to uh, get attracted to and to get the more uh, best selling product so that it will help them to have the good experience with you as well if you want to showcase new products to customer you can include them in your upsell email marketing and retargeting ads so these are the techniques that you can use to um uh, you can use to display your products to the new market or the new customers easily basically when you are having any kind of e um, e-commerce application e-commerce business then definitely you are working on the ads and the email marketing so that you can showcase your products more efficiently to the uh, customers if they are new or the previous ones for all of them it is really needed next we have personalized online experience Website personalization can help enhance, enhance the online shopping experience. If you have good personalization, then your online shopping experience will definitely be good. One of the biggest online business advantages is that you get to create personalized landing pages for different audience. Like if, um, if there are new people, when we talk about a website, there are some credentials that you can add to. And what you do is um, uh, there are different landing, landing pages for different audience. If the uh, audience came from the new user, if the user is new to your website, it will show a different kind of landing page. And if the audience is already your client, then it will show them a different page. It will uh, show them the experiences it, uh, and it may show the new people the best selling products or the things that are really uh, grabbing attention of millions of people and it will show the uh, range of people who are really enjoying their product so it will it can vary for the people according to their interest you can also personalize the experience you provide through your email marketing campaign uh, the email marketing campaigns basically helps you to um, share your product or share your business experience with others it helps to it helps you to grab the new audience and it is also helpful for the uh, already existing audience so that they can get the um, best of your uh, website like if there is any new product they will definitely be notified and they will uh, see it if they have good experience with your previous products and they may also uh, product uh, uh, I was just explaining the point of email marketing campaigns. Hopefully, it is clear. Um, product bundles can help the customer buy more for a better price, increasing the average order value. 
uh, definitely if you get the bundle things or you can say if you buy the deals then you can get the products in a better price and it actually it attracts the client clients do get attracted by the deals or by the little benefits that can that they can get from the products and they do really like to order such stuff so it is really helpful for people then affordable employees one of the benefit of e-commerce is that hiring employees is affordable and you can say that the hiring is really uh, less than the physical stores so you can hire from anywhere in the world when they need to work remotely then you can get the clients from anywhere you can choose to outsource work to virtual assistants in countries where the cost of living is much lower it is one of the most important thing uh, people in the uh, like uh, staying at uh, america or canada you can say when they outsource work they do uh, outsource work to the countries where the pay rate is lower than their their countries then what uh, what is the beneficial for them they get more from the companies and they really pay a little to the uh, virtual assistants who will uh, do the pro uh, work at uh, by staying at home so you will need fewer employees in an online business than in a retail location. Definitely, we were all already talking about it. Uh, the need of employees is really limited in the online businesses. A huge advantage of online businesses is you don't need to hire employees at launch. Definitely, you can uh, hire employees whenever you need them. If, the, uh, if you are the one who is doing all the work that, and you are managing it easily, then you definitely don't need a person. But if um, in case uh, after uh, working for some time, you think that there should be a person who will be helping you, you can hire one, two or multiple people uh, who will just uh, need it at that time point so you can start and run e-commerce business all by yourself definitely though you don't need any uh, specific person or you can say a team to start the business uh, only when you start to grow or when you have the capital should you start to build a team then uh, once you get the uh, business really working good and the capital is raised by a very good amount then you can create your own team and uh, the team will help you to do the business works then easier to encourage impulse buy and other e-commerce benefit is that you can capitalize on impulse buying as online shoppers are more inclined to partake in this uh, people do like to get the things if you have attractive product photography then uh, with vibrant colors or human emotions then you can create ads that drive impulse buys these things help the uh, product to get sell most most of the time you can also execute a range of scarcity tactics such as countdown timers or showcasing limited quantities of um, uh, to encourage people to buy usually we see that um, if we are uh, seeing some online products we uh, uh, see uh, after the pictures that the uh, limited stock or sometimes we see that eight items left sometimes we see the number of items is uh, very less or you can say this item in the last hour is sold 20, uh, 20 times. So you can say all these things are really attention grabbing for the clients. If you have a new or limited edition item in your inventory, consider testing it out for impulse buyers to see how people respond. It will help you to get their feedbacks and definitely you can get good reviews on the product. Easy to retarget and remarket. It's easy to create retargeting ads to reach out to customer in your area when running an online business, making it one of the most profitable e-commerce benefits. Because when you retarget or remarket the product, then things work better. Um, as we were talking about the redesigning of system in system analysis, what are the things that comes into your mind? Because uh, remarketing or remaking or recreating a system helps us to uh, get the things that are not a part of our system previously. So we can get more in our new system. Same as if we remarket or retarget our audience or remarket our product, then we can get the more attention from our clients. Okay. So you can create a Facebook pixel to display ads to your potential customers in their Facebook feeds 
definitely ads help us to uh, display our product to the potential customers who are really interested in our product or you can say the similar products to our product you can use the shoelace shopify app to retarget the people who visit your store but don't buy because uh, if people are keep on visiting your store but are not buying then your uh, you can uh, you can say that if you will uh, retarget them maybe their interest can um, grab the attention and you will get the orders from them with e-commerce stores you can retarget people who add products to their cart but abandon and don't buy or those who visit a blog post and never buy so you can say when we are retargeting uh, we were talking about retargeting when uh, with e-commerce stores you can retarget people who add product to their cart but abandon or don't buy usually people uh, do like the product and they are just about to op uh, create the order but they see that the reviews are not good or you can say that they are not interested anymore in the product they just abandon the product and go away uh you can when you retarget they can get their interest back or you can say that they can um buy the product or maybe they don't buy but in all cases it will not happen you can collect email addresses easily with an effective pop-up or lead magnet and continue marketing to your customers after they leave your site usually if they even don't buy from your site they still uh, need to uh, drop off their email addresses and when the email campaigns approach them they do uh, take it interesting and they buy the products from your site next these were the benefits that i have explained other ones you need to explain in the coming session uh, now we will discuss the threats and their solutions for small businesses adopting e-commerce uh, let's just see what are the points that are left basically three points are left customers get a less invasive experience gain access to customers data easily able to process a high number of orders so you need to uh, make sure that you will be explaining this point in the coming session if there is anything that is unclear to you people you can ask i will explain them properly okay yes, yes. So let's continue with the threats of e-commerce uh, based applications for the small businesses and we will discuss the solutions to these threats as well so e-commerce businesses have given a lot of exposure and access to a larger audience. It was certainly not possible to achieve through conventional retailing methods. The conventional methods were the ones that were already working from years or you can say that from centuries. But now we need to adapt new things and e-commerce businesses are definitely a very good exposure for all the people who are running their businesses however it has also made business owners and customers prone to serious security threats definitely when we are working with the online shopping definitely there are multiple scammers who scam us for our information or sometimes there are scammers who scam us by their products that are not worthy of buying so uh, there are the seven most inevitable threats to e-commerce uh, although there are multiple other threats as well but we need to make sure that these threats are not part of our e-commerce application so online security breach uh, is the most important one uh, we will discuss them one by one uh, in the next slides C client disputes and refunds violation of intellectual property low seo ranking credit card scams poor customer service weak authentication methods let's discuss them one by one online security breach mostly small e-commerce business is vulnerable to online security breaches and cyber attacks some of these online security risks can include phishing website hacking and unprotected web services there are many hackers who can breach the network of a company and access sensitive information therefore it is necessary that your e-commerce website security is very strong uh, whenever we talk about the online working, security is the most important concern. Whenever you are uh, selling products, your e-commerce application is storing the information of your clients, the um, their names, their uh, email addresses, their phone numbers, and uh, multiple other information. Uh, some of the 
things are, are having access to your mobile phones or you can say to the google phone uh, accounts so all these things are really confidential for people so uh, whenever the online uh, uh, like you can say that uh, if we talk about the competitors uh, some comp some of the competitors do get um, greedy and they just start getting the uh, uh, like the hacking the other people's and uh, grabbing their audience by getting their personal information and they start leading uh, start generating leads to uh, to the people who are already uh, getting the products from your uh, website so uh, although there are multiple other concerns of the hackers as well there are people who just um, who just want to ruin the security of your system in this way uh, the small businesses do get affected more because the, if, when we talk about the large businesses they have strong security concerns and the firewalls then they, they are using in their uh, online uh, shops or you can say e-commerce applications are really hard for the hackers to crack but for small businesses it is not worthy so what's the solution you need the best data management practices to make your online security string and you protect your business you must enforce additional layers of network security you can start from the firewall firewall is the one thing that you can do to secure to make your network or you make your to make your e-commerce business secure after that you can add more layers on the website through contact fonts sign up boxes and search queries whenever you add up more layers to the website it helps the overall a website to become secure your web development service provider can help you in setting up security of your site the person who are creating your website or e-commerce based application they can help you to set up the security for your site as well make sure you initiate and end your transaction with ssl certifications basically it's a kind of certification that will help to secure your transaction that will be performed through the application select a safe and secure e-commerce platform which uses object-oriented programming language basically uh, object-oriented programming is a uh, most important uh, or you can say that most commonly used programming language nowadays every other uh, uh, every other uh, e-commerce application or web-based application is created by using the uh, object-oriented programming so uh, you can say that it is also good to use uh, definitely there are multiple languages in object-oriented programming so all these app, uh, app languages do have security concerns and some of them are really good at securing the applications keep on monitoring your website regularly and ask your web hosting company to check their servers for any virus and malware if the servers are having uh, viruses then they can your application as well if you are talking about the viruses or if you are talking about the hackers if a hacker attack your um, uh, server or the service provider or web hosting company they can easily attack your website or application so they do need to check their websites uh, uh, web hostings regularly purge old records from the database and keep a minimum amount of data because of the data security concerns you need to have limited data in your database because if your database is hacked all the information from your clients will be lost and definitely the clients can uh, the sorry the hackers can misuse the information of your clients which is not a really desirable thing um most mostly people uh, do uh, sell their things through um, their instagram accounts and facebook accounts or facebook pages basically whenever they are selling products their information is really confidential but their accounts got hacked whenever the account is got hacked people get the uh, the clients who are approaching them for the product get the messages or the uh, security threats and some of the people get the cashbacks or you can say multiple other things are done for scamming the people through hacking so uh, these things are really confidential and it is a must to purge off the old records to make the data of the user secure.
uh, client disputes and refunds. One of the biggest problem with online shopping in the e-commerce industry is that clients are now able to claim refunds and disputed orders. Clients can easily uh, dispose of the order that is not working in their way. So most of the time dispute arises when the product never arrives and the amount has been charged from the customer's account. Uh, people usually uh, in the case of uh, bank transfers, uh, people require that you need to pay us before the product and whenever the payment is clear, they get the product maybe they will get the product but in some cases after the delays they got really disturbed and the disputes arise sometimes the customer get charged twice and sometimes the product description doesn't match the actual product if the product description is not as per the product details and the requirements of the user are not fulfilled they will definitely create a dispute or they will ask for the refund so did you have any experience with the refund or uh, the product quality was not good or you asked for the refund? No, miss. Uh, no, sir. Okay. Anyone else? No, ma'am. Okay, so let me share my experience. Once I ordered a shirt from an online store and the size and the measurements of the shirts were not accurate, the product that was displayed in the pictures were looking very good. But when I got the shirt, it was not uh, exactly in the measurements. The measurements are were uh, very uh, less than the uh, written measurements. And uh, when I created a dispute and I just asked them for the refund, they simply stopped replying me and they blocked my number. And I really got disturbed by them and I tried to uh, put on a bad review on their website. Unfortunately, I was not doing, able to do that. Whenever I uh, do that, they started deleting that review. So I just left it. But there are some scammers who do these kind of scams. Or you can say that the customer services is really poor for these people. And they think that they can grow their business in this way. But unfortunately, it is not the way to work. So uh, whenever uh, you are working in an online or e-commerce based application, you need to have a strong uh, intimidation of getting refunds, uh, refund applications so that the client can easily be uh, able to order the product in, in case they are not liking the quality or they are not getting the product that is their actual need, then they can ask for the refund. So how we will uh, solve this problem, you can avoid disputed orders and claim for chargeback by avoiding shipment of wrong products. So you can avoid the shipment of any wrong product like the product that they are uh, asking for needed to be properly shipped to them or to their addresses, not charging the customer until or unless you are sure that all items have been shipped and delivered. Once you are charging people for the products they are asking for and they are and they are not in your inventory or you can say that in your immediate inventory then you should avoid them or you can say that you can uh, stay, uh, you can simply uh, uh, stay those order on pending so that whenever everything is clear and you have real um, uh, assurance of the product's uh, accuracy, then you can uh, charge them for the products and simply ship them uh, the products to their addresses. You can uh, be using the tracking numbers for each order that is placed and shipped so that it can help people to track their orders as well. Barcode scanners help in minimizing payment related errors. Uh, basically, these scanners can help the people to simply scan the code and uh, put on the payments. They, there is no need to get any kind of error while transactions uh, are performed and created. So in this way, you can avoid the disputes and uh, definitely refunds. But if the client is asking for, then we shouldn't uh, step back from that point. We should face the uh, failure as well because uh, we do learn multiple things from these points. So violation of intellectual property is also one of the common security threat. 
protection of ip is very important in the e-commerce industry and it includes website logos content taglines product and other images and icons people do try to get the uh, to sell the product there are millions of people who are selling mugs online but if they are having unique logo unique content you need product description and images then it will definitely be selling very good but if they are copying the uh, logos and you can say the product descriptions of others and the images are from others products then definitely the it is the violation of the others prote protection uh, so uh, it is not a really good approach uh, in case of e-commerce applications because the uh, schemas that are working on google are the things that are on the top are 100% unique there should be no plagiarism in the content there should be no plagiarism or any kind of other things in the uh, overall product description and logo that will be disturbing or uh, you can say that violating the uh, intellectual property of others so violation of copyright rules and intellectual property can cause a huge loss for the e-commerce based websites uh, if um, if someone is working in the local markets then there is no issue if they are selling the product by using other taglines or other product descriptions but if you are working on e-commerce applications then copyright rules must be followed so what are the techniques to solve this uh, problem a uh, few techniques can be used to get rid of this risk. Do not copy IP of any other company. Enforce strong copyright rules. When you will enforce the rules, definitely you will not be copying the anything from any other person. Train your employees regarding IP security. Whenever you are creating your team, you need to uh, train your employees as per the uh, need, needs of the security, IP security. Never disclose sensitive information during live chats because they are not secure at all. Live chats that are performed at the websites, whenever you open a website and you get the option of live chat that uh, allows you to ask anything from the customer care agents, these chats are not secure. So there should not be any kind of sensitive information like your personal information, any kind of information that is regarding your uh, personal branding or personal payments or uh, bank accounts, any kind of confidential information shouldn't be shared at that chats. Employ strict written protocols and inform security policies and practices whenever you have uh, written protocols for each and every employee then they all need to follow them if they are having the rules and regulations but they are not following then it will be a big loss for your online existence so you need to have strong practices of this process next we have low seo ranking what is the role of seo do any one of you know what is the s what is seo Yes, ma'am. So please let me know what is SEO. This is like uh, the search engine optimization. The full form is, is just to help your page rank top in the Google. Like there are some certain keywords or certain uh, avoiding the plagiarism. All these things will improve the rating of your website in the first. Uh, it can make it come in the first page of the Google or make it top. Definitely. If you are using the good search engine optimization rules, it helps you to stay on top of the Google. Definitely, uh, when we are talking about the search engine result pages, there are um, multiple pages, but usually whenever you go to the Google and search for something, uh, we do rely on the first page or maybe sometimes we scroll down to the second page. But the things that we get on the first page are on the top priority from the site of Google. So that's the reason multiple people who are running their online or you can say that web-based applications, they use uh, the, uh, they hire the people for the optimization of their application or the website. In this way, they hire the people to uh, use different techniques for uh, like, avoiding the plagiarism as you have as Muhammad has said and you can also uh, use the keywords in the text or the content that is the part of your product or your application you can also use some inbound or outbound links that will help you to uh, be a part of the search engine result pages and in this way you can get 
high audience from the google google keeps on changing its algorithm and it's drastically affect your ranking it is not always the same uh, algorithm that google is working on it already uh, it is uh, gradually changing in its algorithms so we need to be careful and uh, concerned about each and everything that is working on google low seo ranking means low traffic to your website which ultimately result in less number of sales so you need a very high seo ranking so that your product appears in the first uh, pay result pages of google uh, so that you will you can uh, get high number of sales therefore you need to focus on the digital marketing of your e-commerce businesses too so digital marketing how you do it you use the different kind of blogging application websites to share your products so on you uh, approach people who can uh, outbound your products in their products so that you can get more views from their products as well people do uh, use a term of pr packages if you have heard about it in this way people uh, send their product to the people who are having great audience whenever they show the, your products to their audience your audience get attracted to and they make uh, orders and then they buy your products in this way they you can also increase your uh, business or you can say the sales by digital marketing this is the best example of digital marketing although there are multiple other techniques that are working in digital marketing as well so low seo ranking uh what's the solution for it uh, if a professional SEO expert isn't taking care of your website marketing, then there are chances that your website traffic drops. If you are having, uh, if today you are having a good number of uh, sales, the, the next day it may drop to the very low number of sales. It is continuously needed to be taken care of by a specially uh, and uh, expert person who is already having good experience in doing SEO. Finding the right keywords to promote your product. Uh, it, uh, it is also uh, the use of right tools to search for. There are millions of tools that are working for the keywords research, but the uh, but not all the tools are working efficiently or you can say that working properly as per the Google's algorithm. You can make an effective social media strategy that will help you to increase your SEO ranking as well. Next, we have credit card scams. Uh, suspicious transactions and stolen credit card information are common risk of e-commerce businesses. Definitely, your transactions need to be 100% secure because the hackers or anybody can use a stolen credit card to make an online transaction. Your online security should be strong and tight enough to catch a doubtful transaction. If there is any kind of doubtful transaction that is happening or you can say there is a two-step verification process that is working nowadays and I think it is really helpful uh, in avoiding the scams that are caused solely by the credit cards or you can say the other card payments so you can use the double step verification it will uh, simply uh, send a text message or an email notification to you if the transaction is um, uh, occurred so you can see if the it is not you you can uh, uh, simply stop the transaction to happen so what's the solution to this problem? You can use the following techniques to prevent the fraudulent purchases. You should be PCI compliant because the PCI compliance protect the data of a credit card holder and maintains the firewall. It helps the people basically to uh, maintain the overall uh, security by the firewalls. Use secure socket layer authentications uh, for the protection of data, these are the uh, authentication layers that help the e-commerce websites to secure the data of their user. SSL certificates are important for transaction. Basically, um, these kind of uh, layers and the certificates are solely based on the uh, online transactions and online purchases. They can authenticate your business identity and encrypt the data which saves the data from being stolen. Once the authenticity of your business is identified, then there are less chances for your data to be stolen. Next, we have poor customer services. Poor customer service or experience can 
be a serious turn off for the customers if they are not getting good services from your website or e-commerce application and the response rate from your side is low then they definitely be not purchasing from your website uh, and uh, eventually it will hurt your business it includes many loopholes ranging from your rude or unprofessional customer service agents to not up-to-date inventory management if the inventory is not managed properly uh, the people are placing their orders and there is no item left in the inventory and unfortunately you are not able to create the strong inventory then it will definitely be a very bad thing for the company so uh, wrong delivery uh, deliveries can also make you lose your business so you need to be careful whenever you are delivering the product whenever you are talking to your uh, customers you need to have a good and professional team who will be dealing with the people efficiently and uh, politely so what's the solution here always be polite when you are talking to your customer focus on exceeding the expectations of your clients you need to be on the expectations of your client um if you are not able to exceeding then at least be at the expectations but below the expectations of client is not gonna work here always gracefully respond to your customers queries and apologize for your mistakes when you apologize to for your mistakes your clients do get a soft corner for you in their heart so use effective inventory management software to save your customers from any inconvenience if there is no management software or management um, team who are working on the inventory then they will definitely suffer a lot from the inconvenience try to provide accurate deliveries there should be no delays um, in the deliveries of the product whatever the time or the date is given to the client they should get the product right at that time personalization is the key to impress customers you can get them uh, uh, get them attracted by your product and by your services by giving them a strong communication weak authentication methods if you have weak and very basic authentication method then you are prone to more cyber attacks if you are authenticating a user by id and passwords only then there are chances that this information can be stolen you need strong authentication method for your online security that can resist attacks that can avoid attacks so that you can have good authentication so in order to solve this problem the best solution to this problem is that you should use two factor or multi factor authentication methods these are the really good terms in nowadays it is a perfect way to secure your online presence it helps you to improve your online security it adds an extra layer of security and can ask for a verification code other than id and password even though if uh, we uh, mostly we are using um, uh, whatsapp for the communication so many of you must have idea about the whatsapp and it's working uh, it is also providing the two-step verification method it is really helpful for the security of your account so that whenever you uh, someone else is trying to uh, store your information your personal information then you can get a notification and ultimately you can get secured by any theft so any um, questions uh, from your side regarding the threats and the solutions no all okay next we are having our today's objective the objective was to, of today's session was to understand the role of e-commerce in small businesses and its benefits and threats to the small businesses hopefully it is achieved is it yes ma'am okay so uh, i have some of the questions for you people and then uh, if there is any question for me you can ask for me so all of you need to answer one question just choose one question and answer to it okay mama Muhammad. i have no questions okay Muhammad, you uh, need to answer one question oh uh, okay so the first question is what's the role of e-commerce in a small business Yes. Uh, e-commerce has uh, have uh, like a very big impact in a small business. Like due to e-commerce, the business can grow quickly, and the cost it is very cost effective. It might take some time and hard work, but it's very beneficial. Very good. I will name one benefit. It's related to international market. It uh, 
seller can reach uh, the international international market. Okay, good. This uh, same benefit. Okay. Uh, able to process a high numbers of orders. Okay, good. So no one has remembered one threat. Muhammad, do you remember any threat? It's a uh, phishing, maybe. Okay, so virus is attack. Okay, so uh, is there any question for me? No, ma'am.